Our groundwater is a fragile and precious resource that links directly to local streams, rivers, lakes, and wells, so it must be protected from possible contamination, a public health risk to our communities. One common source of groundwater pollution can occur from septic system malfunction. Under provincial regulation, there are three main categories of septic system, all of which follow the same principles, type 1, type 2, and type 3. All three are found in the capital region. Let's take a look underground. The basic components of septic systems are the septic tank, compartments, the distribution box or D-box, and the drain field. Many type 1 systems also have a pump chamber, and more advanced type 2 and 3 systems may have a package treatment system. This type allows for a shorter drain field and is used on small sites. We'll use a basic type 1 system going forward. Wastewater from all drains in the home, sinks, tubs, showers, laundry, and toilets all flow into the septic tank. The purpose of the tank is to capture solids and prevent them from entering the drain field. The solids should be pumped out and sent to a treatment facility. The wastewater flows to the distribution box, which in turn distributes the effluent to dispersal lines. The drain field is a gravel field through which the wastewater drains and filters further. Once the water enters the soil, microorganisms eat anything remaining, including dangerous viruses and pathogens. By the time the wastewater reaches the groundwater, it has been treated and cleansed. But septic systems can and do malfunction. To find out how, view part two, what can go wrong with your septic system. The CRD, making a difference together.